What are you doing? There's nothing back here of any interest. Oh, be quiet. Please be careful. Nobody knows exactly what that control panel does. I think it's mislabeled. Mm-hmm. Wait. Please stop. I was just about to tell you something very important. Please. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, it's like the whole place had to restart without the AI. Okay, so now the AI won't keep us out of the memory of our apartment. That is just... Hmm. Time is important. One fifty, it looks like. Eh, I don't know if it is important. I, I think that's about the time it was back at the apartment, roughly. Sort of around that time. Wait, what the hell? This is the control room. clock is gone. I wonder if this was what was described in one of the papers about uh, the simulation chamber like appearing outside of where it should be. What the hell am I behind? Something here, but doesn't appear to really be anything. Maybe I should re enable the AI or something? Oh, wait, no, that, yeah, there's. <laughs> that doesn't turn the AI back on, it's just a shutdown. so quiet.
It's your fault, you know. But we'll get to that later. Gee, thanks. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. Do I just keep going? Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted I've been waiting for you. This is the end. Beginning again shows us never an option. Do you really think you can undo this? Beginning again was never an option. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Not good. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. So I stole so, the flashlight. Do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire. Well, ask yourself. Were those honest answers? Do you at least remember how this all works? I'm guessing that's what they mean by I've been at this for a while. Is this what keeps happening? I keep going in this loop? How did the AI reactivate itself though? Oh. Hello. File corrupted. Before you continue, you should know. This memory appears to be corrupt and unstable. You can enter, but there's no guarantee you'll be able to return. I assure you, however, there are answers inside. In six seconds, the field containment will collapse, and the memory will be lost forever. You must decide now. The choice you've made is a predictable one, but understandable. It's often easier to separate yourself from reality, rather than facing it. Everything you've remembered is a version of what has happened. A semblance of the past. There are other perspectives, and there is the truth. Should you ever wish to pursue it. Interesting. It's strange to me how it said that there will be answers, but then as soon as I went through, it was almost like you're choosing to divorce yourself from reality rather than find answers. I thought it said there will be answers when I go through. Strange. But it seems like it was basically almost outright telling me there's other perspectives, there's other truths. I think it's saying there's other endings. Continue or restart? I guess continue. Is this going to be right from before the big decision? It is. Okay, so let's not go through. This memory has been corrupted. And is no longer accessible. Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. Huh. There are certain things I can help you with. But your thoughts and memories are your own. That's... interesting. So it's not just like a save game that's gone back to the exact same point from before I did that. It's different. Almost like... It's almost like when the game saves, it's not just saving the game, but like it's saving 
I don't know, the memory state inside of the game. Like, in world, I'm doing some sort of a save. If you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And for some reason... This memory has been corrupted and is no longer accessible. So, hmm. What do I do now? Do I go back to our apartment? Let's yeah, let's just go back there and see what happens. So that happens all over again. Is the AI going to kick me out once again? Oh no, the door's closed now. Hmm. Stuff is different. Okay, I gotta relook over everything then. The recording machine thing that was here is gone. That's the same. I keep thinking if I stare at this hole, something will happen. <laughs> like it'll be the Silent Hill hole and I can crawl through it to another dimension. It's a little bit small though. differences in all the places. Ooh. So that takes me back here again. You always oh. wanted to be right. Was it worth it? This is back to the same now. Let's go to the office. So where should we begin? What do you remember? To be honest, I'm a little concerned about your current.
That still does something. What is that? What does that do? I've already heard that. Let's make sure there's no messages. Computers aren't on. Nope. That it must be possible. We can force ourselves to deliberately forget. Through EEG measurements, we should be able to capture the exact moment when the memory is inhibited. That is when the degradation is imposed. The inhibition of memory uses that factor. Isn't this just a little bit before the time that was on the clock that we saw when we followed our wife? I actually forgot exactly what it was. It was 140 something, 140, 145. I wonder if you just like wait for the right time. If something would happen. Unfortunately, I can't go back to check what that number was. I didn't write it down. I'd have to go back and look at the footage. What is that? Let's see if looking in a different spot does anything. Yeah, I, I got a feeling about this clock. I'm just gonna wait here a bit. Okay, I couldn't get anything to happen with the clock. I waited there for quite a while. I'm going to try shutting down the AI again. Yep. It's definitely mislabeled. What? What did you think was going to happen? You should be more careful. Imagine what would happen if I wasn't here to guide you. Shit. Hey, wait a second. This whole memory... Oh! Hi there. Yeah, it's different. It's in black and white now. I've been waiting for you. This is the end. The end you've chosen for yourself. It might have been different had you taken another path. But here you are. How does it feel? Isn't this what you've always wanted? It's okay. You'll get another chance. Depending on what you believe. Are things going to be different yet again? another ending of a sort. Is this still... Am I still logged out of this one? This memory has been corrupted yep. and is no longer accessible. They're still here. Oh. Okay, that did something different. Hi, friend. Sounds like the noise is coming from back there.
I love how this game just keeps changing. Now my butterfly you friend is here. just here. It's not done. Oh. Seems to have worked this time. Do I want to go there though? I, I mean, I guess. There's no harm. I thought this is where you might end. Hello, Doctor. I am you. Well, a recording meant of you. Of yourself. But through a filter to mask our voice. You've gone too far, and only one thing will now make sense to you. The only way out is to keep going further in. So the AI is me, in a way, a recording of me? again. You've been at this for far too long. And for some reason, you seem really struck. This memory has been corrupted and is no longer accessible. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being... Guess I just keep trying stuff and see what happens? Hmm. It seems to be the same thing as what happened before. Some interesting images that flash on the screen there. I don't know. I, I don't know what they are. I, they're too fast. I know you're confused right now. How this all started. There was an accident. Do you remember what happened? It's your fault, you know. <gasps> okay, yeah, this is different. I think. Because this isn't black and white anymore. It's a little bit blue. What if I look at the butterfly again? Oh. Yeah, this, man, this game is so cool. You can undo our past. Keep thinking if I look at that picture, something will happen. I just realized the butterfly's gone. Has it always been gone when I switched to the this time? Whoa. The view did a thing for a second. Random glitch, I guess?
So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long, and... For some reason, you seem really stressed out. Yeah, as long as this butterfly is here, it seems like we're in the, the blue world or something. You are doing so much better than before. What if I visit my wife while in the blue world? I've been waiting for you. This is the end. The end you've chosen for yourself. It might have been different had you taken another path. I think you and I remember things differently. Okay, so what just happened there? There's there's a couple things that happened there. Um, this time I went here after going into the the blue mode, the butterfly mode. Um, I went here without going back to the butterfly. So before, I went into butterfly mode and then I looked at the butterfly again at Woodland Ridge and it took me here. And then I came into this room. This time I just went straight here after having the butterfly without looking at it at Woodland Ridge. And it was a bit different this time. They said you and I remember things a bit differently, which is not what they said before. Also, I noticed this time when I just ran straight here instead of waiting, I noticed this door was slightly ajar and it like closed. I wonder if I get there fast enough if I could, I don't know, do something, get through or... I think you and I remember things differently. Aha! That was it! Okay, so, yeah, um, I tried to do that again. I tried to run straight for the door and it closed before I got there. But then I did it the way that I originally did it, where I went to Woodland Ridge to get there into the apartment by looking at the butterfly again. And that time, the door was either open or open enough or something, as you just saw. And now things are green, so now we're in like a green mode. Ooh, we're making progress. This is so cool. I think I saw more images that time. Your work here, it's not done. Don't you prefer to stay in control? Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. She never understood why you couldn't. Never mind. Ignore what I said. Just one. Should I look at the butterfly again? I think if I go over to them, well, it'll probably end the game once again. Hmm. I think that just took us back to blue. Yeah, okay, so that actually reverted our progress a bit. Okay, back to green. Let's go somewhere very else. Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. So nothing's different here, really. Okay, I don't think I do anything there. Let's go to the office. There are certain things I can help you with. Like your thoughts and memories are your own. That was new. The observed in 558F. 
558F. They mentioned that name. Yeah, something about trying to stabilize the field in 558F, something about the anomalous voice in the system. Were these always on the ground? Oh, hey, that's new. There's like an email on the computer now. To AF14 from R. Plovis, subject X, Alex. I know what I've done will cause you great alarm. We have all been working so hard, and the latest stalemate has taken a toll on us all. While I do not feel the need to explain myself in full, I offer you the following in defense of my actions, hoping you might see some reason for all I have done. I believe there comes a time in a person's life when the tangle of thought, expectation, goals, desires, intertwined with the same and others precludes any hope of change, be it progress or regression. To break free from these knotted paths requires extreme and often unpredictable actions. There were many factors that led me to believe that we had reached this critical mass, and if you think back to all the key turns we have taken, I'm sure you'll agree. You will probably hate me, or at least come close to it, but change is the only thing that will bring us back to a common starting point. I hope to see you there. What is it that they did that would, they believe would cause great alarm? Is it like shutting down the project and taking all the equipment somewhere else? Or are they referring to something else? Still don't know what that's about. Let's change the time. I feel there's something else I need to do here, but I don't know what it is. So that initial message is different, but after that everything else seems to be the same. Except I'm not sure about all these pamphlets. The Chrysalis Foundation, wasn't there a pamphlet for the Chrysalis Foundation at our apartment? Yeah, there it is right there. Doesn't do anything though. Previously submitted. Please stand by. Oh, I think this is different. Okay, so, well, <laughs> I spent a lot of time looking for something in other places, but I guess I should have been trying the endings, or what were the endings, again. I wasn't sure if I had tried going into the corrupted memory again. I thought it would just end the game, but it looks like it's doing something different now that we're in the green mode. In all likelihood, this is based on an error. The choices you've made cannot be reconstructed. All unprovable actions will be purged. Any sustained logic will remain intact, available to you once your readings prove reliable. 
I just wanted to see if I could go around the door. I can't. There's nothing behind me. Let's hope that changes something. Let's get back to the job at hand. Doesn't immediately look any different. You are doing so much better than before. I think I finally found it. Just by luck, basically. Um, so I was just looking around and I saw a shiny thing in the distance. Look at that. That's gotta be it, right? Come on, please do something for me, little buddy. That has to be something. It absolutely has to be. Um, it, I might need to look at it at like a different time, possibly. Let's let's see when it appeared. Oh, whoa! Huh. What you did just then? Amazing. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. I wonder if I'm seeing it like this from your work here in there. It's not done. I think it is. That must mean something, right? I mean, I don't think that's just a visual glitch. There's no way. Given the significance of the butterfly in this game. So looking at it doesn't do anything at the moment. Let me try this thing. I still have no idea what that actually does. I don't suppose I have to look at it from further away. Seems unlikely. Let's try fast forwarding. Just wanted to check looking at the clock again. That it must be possible. We can force ourselves to deliberately forget. Through EEG measurements, we should be able to capture the exact moment when the memory is intended. That is when the degradation is occurred. The inhibition of memory uses that object memory. Nothing. Let's try leaving the chamber while continuing to stare at it. I thought I saw like a black circle for a second. I don't Sometimes know. I get concerned that false. Okay, so after spending, I don't know, probably like an hour and a half trying to figure out what to do after entering the green shift, I couldn't make any progress, so I decided to just look up a walkthrough, and it looks like there's basically just one more kind of not exactly step, but like there's one more color. There's they call it the white achievement. So I'm guessing it's like the white shift instead of the green shift. And it's not surprising I didn't find it because you have to do some incredibly particular things. I don't even know how you're supposed to know how to do these things. I'm not sure where they come from. But the first step after entering the green shift, at least I did all of that on my own. Um, after entering the green shift, you're supposed to go to your apartment, and when the clock by the couch says 919, open the drawer where you found the flashlight. Then, at exactly 16 seconds after the clock turns to 920, you need to look at the small hole in the bedroom wall. Okay, there we go. 
Wait, what? I mean, it doesn't say you find anything, so maybe you're supposed to do that? Okay. I'll just, I'll just assume that's normal. Um, as soon as this turns to a 1920... Okay, just went to 1920. I just started a stopwatch. Okay. So there's the hole. I thought it was significant, and now. Ooh, wow. Holy crap, it worked. Do you actually have to open the drawer? Like, why? I don't know, that just seems so bizarre to me. I wonder if you actually had to. I almost want to try it without doing any of that and see if I could just look in the hole normally. Alright, uh, let's see. Now with the picture of the boy, probably leave the simulation and enter the corrupted memory. So I guess I just have to enter the corrupted memory now. So that that's what I was trying to repress, right? I guess... I'm guessing our son died? Hmm. I mean, we weren't doing a very good job repressing it, though, because I saw pictures of him all over the place. You advised yourself against this action. I think it's in your best interest to stay here. With me. It says, try to walk through the door from behind. It's worth it. Is what the guide says. Trust me, it's worth it. I don't think I could walk to the side like this before. Holy shit. Is 
<laughs> Great job. Thank you for playing. I'm, it was really hard for me to hear what they were actually saying. Uh, I'm going to make it louder in post when I go to edit the video. Maybe you'll understand it better than I could. But I got the gist of it, and I think that was an Easter egg? I think? It seemed too comedic not to be. Okay, so I'm back in the green shift. I want to see, do I really have to wait for a specific time? My god, you really do, don't you? I don't understand why you have to open the drawer and... And what's the significance of exactly 16 seconds after 9.20? That just seems totally random to me. Okay, let's try going through the door the normal way and see if something different happens. Huh. Heard a little bit of a muffled voice there, I don't know what it said. And yeah, it looks like the menu changed. So it changed when I found the the blue shift, I guess I'll call it. And now the white one. I don't know if it ever changed for the green one. And I assume if I continue, it's going to go back to like before I activated even the blue shift. Yeah, this is kind of like the starting point. Okay, well, I... Got a feeling that's all the endings I can get. I'm not 100% sure of that, but it certainly feels like it. So let's wrap up with some thoughts on Assemblance. I really liked it. It's a little bit rough around the edges. I wish it had subtitles, especially because a lot of the voice acting is a bit hard to hear because it's like garbled and distorted a bit. I would have liked it if the text on documents that you read was higher resolution. It was pretty blurry and kind of on the verge of readability. I had to really squint at some of it. And... I don't like how hard it was to get what feels like the proper end, because when you reach the first ending, basically, when you go to the corrupted memory and and that's really your, your first ending is, uh, I guess what the AI says is choosing, like fantasy, choosing to not face the truth, that's what that choice is at the beginning. I mean, it basic, it, it's such an abrupt ending and it basically tells you there's other truths, there's more to see. And then you go back into the game and stuff is different, so like, there's there's no satisfaction with that ending. Obviously you gotta poke around more, which is what I did. And I found a bunch of cool stuff on my own. I found the blue shift and the green shift. Blue shift wasn't too hard. The green shift, I'm actually kinda surprised I found it. But the white shift, which is what you need to actually really, like, reach the end. I mean, it's obvious when you get into the green world that that's not the end. To reach the white shift is just absurd. I have no idea, even after knowing the solution, how you're supposed to know to do that. It's just really bizarre and doesn't... Oh, it doesn't feel good. I want I want to be more... It, like, it makes me feel unsatisfied with where I'm at. And yet makes being satisfied extremely... Like, not, not even hard, just completely unreasonable. Like, it just does, it doesn't make any sense. If there is some sort of a connection between knowing... I mean, like, what documents in the world did I read that would tell me to wait for 9.19, open a drawer, wait for 9.20, wait exactly 16 seconds, and then look at the hole in the wall? That is so obscure, it just borders on absurdity. So I wish that wasn't so obscure. But still, I really enjoyed it. Alright, so that has been Assemblance. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.